So hello everyone, uh, I'm Ashwini Mali from Engineering Physics, third year from IIT Roorkee and uh, in this video I will be presenting about the atomic force microscopy. So we will start with how the atomic force microscopy works, like what is the basic concept and then we will look for what are the operating modes it has and then we will finally look into the applications of atomic force microscopy. Uh, so atomic force microscopy works on the principle of the interaction of atoms. So here we have a plot that shows the force profile between the atoms. Uh, so, so on x-axis we have the distance. So we have two kind of forces, the repulsive forces and the attractive, attractive forces. And so we are here we are interested in the electromagnetic forces because they are short range forces. So for far distance, uh, both the forces, the repulsive and the attractive, they are negligible. And we can see that as the distance uh, decreases, so both the forces increase in the magnitude, but they have the different direction. So the overall fo force profile looks like this. So we have equilibrium distance where the overall force is zero and that is also called the bond length and below which the force is repulsive and uh, for more distance than this, we have attractive forces. So the atomic force microscopy uses the simple principle uh, for imaging purposes. The main component of atomic force microscope involves a laser, photodetector, cantilever and feedback circuit. So the sample is scanned by a very sharp tip that has a cantilever and uh, the laser beam is incident on the top of the cantilever and the reflection is recorded using the photodiode. So as the tip scans the sample, uh, it experiences the force and then it gets deflected. And because of those deflections, uh, uh, the, the light that is incident on the surface of the cantilever, it, uh, it changes the direction and that is recorded by the photodiode. And then finally, we have a feedback circuit, which actually controls how far from the sample and the tip will be scanning it. And using this, we actually take out the image of the surface. Um, the atomic force microscope has two modes of operation, contact mode and the non-contact mode. So again, if we look at the force profile, so there are two regions, one in which the force is repulsive and the one in which the force is attractive. So in the contact mode, um, mode of operation, the tip is in hard contact uh, with the surface. So it experiences the repulsive force. While in the non-contact modes of operation, the tip stands just above the surface. So it experiences the attractive force. Both non-contact mode and contact mode has the feedback loop. However, the mechanism involved in, in the two is different. In the non-contact mode, uh, the, the feedback loop has high speed than the speed of the scanning of the sample. Also, it tries to maintain a particular amount of oscillation of the cantilever tip. However, in case of the contact mode, the feedback loops try to maintain particular amount of force on the sample. Uh, also, the speed uh, in the contact mode is slower than the speed of the scanning. So the in non so the non-contact mode is uh, has the complex feedback circuit than the contact mode. And here the diagram shows the non-contact mode. So the cantilever has a particular uh, oscillation frequency and it scans the sample and then we record the plot and further this plot is uh, analyzed for the purpose that we want. If we talk about the advantages of operating in the non-contact mode, then we have uh, non-destructive imaging, minimal sample deformation and it's highly sensitive to the surface variation and then we also have the reduced tip wear. This is because uh, the tip is not in the contact with the sample. So the sample won't damage and the tip also won't have wear and tear. So the tip can be used for longer time. So it also reduces the operating cost. 
the disadvantages we have with non contact mode is low resolution and complex setup and alignment because we have a complex feed feedback circuit that tries to maintain a particular distance from the sample also it is susceptible to the environment interference and we have uh, limited applicability on certain samples because it doesn't work for every sample in contact mode uh, we get the benefit of high resolution uh, because we are in the contact with the sample to so get the high resolution imaging then it has a simple operation and we get the real time feedback and it's more versatile for the sample characterization than the non contact mode uh, operating in the contact mode has disadvantages like uh, the sample can damage and you need to change the tip again and again because it gets the wear uh, further if the sample is soft then we cannot operate in the contact mode also we have a we have a risk of uh, getting artifacts on on the sample because of the lateral forces now if we look for the applications of uh, atomic force microscopy then it's used in surface Im imaging surface modification or surface metrology uh, so the afm is widely used for uh, imaging surface topography at nanometer scale so it provides the detailed information about the surface features morphology and the roughness it's also used in the material characterization so AFM enables the characterization of material properties such as the stiffness, elasticity, adhesion, and the friction at the nanoscale. Uh, in the in the field of uh, uh, biology and life sciences or medical research, uh, AFM is used extensively uh, in the biophysics and bio biology for studying uh, biological samples, including the cells, proteins. DNA and other biomolecules. It provides the insights uh, about their structure, function, and interactions. In the field of nanotechnology research or semiconductor industry, uh, the atomic force microscope based techniques such as the chemical force microscopy and the scanning Kelvin probe microscopy uh, uh, gives us the feature uh, for investigating the surface uh, chemical composition and the electric. Uh, properties of sample also uh, AFM can be utilized for nano manipulation and nano fabrication processes uh, which enables precise positioning and manipulation of nano structures and fabrication of nano scale devices or semiconductor devices So these were some of the applications of atomic force microscopy and it has a lot of potential uh, applications and it's used in uh, various fields. So we have just seen a brief introduction about the atomic uh, force microscope and here are the references that I use for the images or, or the content.